Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for hanging out and spending some time, some of your quality time, right? A little bit every day, you and I, we get together, we talk, we hang and discuss the latest and the greatest in magic. I do magic reviews on this channel every single week. I'm blessed, I'm fortunate enough to have magicians and magic houses send me things so that I can show them to you. Today, we're looking at not only a new trick, but coming from a new website. That's right, Jack Magic just launched. Jack Magic just launched within this last week, and uh, they got a killer, uh, just totally impossible coin trick up for sale. This is Bitcoin, B-I-C, Bitcoin. So it sounds like Bitcoin, right? But it's Bic because it uses a Bic lighter. Now, if you wanna see Bitcoin in action, there's a couple of performance videos uh, out on YouTube, the, you know, the people that kind of trolled around Blackpool and they had their camera and they said, we're looking for the best magic, right? Best magic in Blackpool. There's like three or four of those videos out. I think there's more than that. Um, and uh, James Keatling shows up in a couple of those. And uh, he even has some of that footage uh, in this. So this trick, Bitcoin, was available at Blackpool and now it's being made available to the public on his new website, Jack Magic. And let me just say, uh, there's two versions of this, all right? Personally, I would opt for the more expensive one. That's just me. That's the one I got. But I love the phase two aspect of this. There's three phases in this uh, routine. I'm gonna walk you through all of them, tell you what they are, show you exactly what you get for your money. But um, just as we're talking, right? As we're talking, be thinking in your head. I wonder if I would get the the phase two upgrade. All right, let's talk about Bitcoin. Let me describe how it goes. And I'm gonna insert the uh, phase two element into it so that you can see kind of just how it's all fleshed out. At the very beginning, uh, you're gonna have a cheap plastic drink cup with a straw in it. And inside that, probably Coke or tea or orange juice or something, right? And you're gonna say, hey, you wanna see a coin trick? They're gonna say, sure. Or you wanna see a magic trick? Yes. Hey, can you hold my drink? So they're, they're holding your drink, okay? And then you bring out a lighter and you can say it's your magic wand, right? And you can display both hands completely empty, both hands completely empty. And just as you transfer the Bic lighter from one hand to the other, a coin appears in your hand. Now you can do any sort of little appearance, disappearance routine that you know with a single coin, right? Make it pass through your hand, make it go to your elbow, make it appear behind your ear. You can do all that kind of stuff. But ultimately you're gonna make it vanish. It's gonna be completely gone and you're gonna gesture to their hand, you're gonna lift the drink up off their hand and the coin will now be resting at the bottom of their hand, right there. They'll be able to pick it up, inspect it. So now you'll take the coin back from them, walk them over to a table and say, we're gonna make it go up through the table, okay? Make it under the table and pop out the top. They will see the coin go under the table. You'll take the lighter once again and put it on top of the table and just with a jerk like that, the coin will immediately appear under the lighter. And remember, your other hand doesn't come out. You'll then slide the coin off, hand it out for examination. They can inspect it to their heart's content. It's a real coin. Three phase routine, Bitcoin, James Keatling, Jack Magic. All right, Bitcoin. Let's say you pay $100. What are you gonna get? Um, the base is $100. Okay, and you'll get a little metal tin. Inside that, you'll get all the gimmicks. Uh, most everything is gimmicked. The lighter's gimmicked, the coin is gimmicked, and you'll get a uh, examinable coin. Okay, so you'll be doing some switches. But yeah, it's, it's all automated. So all of these gaffes are doing the heavy lifting for you. So if you're like, well, I'm not really good at coin magic, I mean, if you can do a French drop, <laughs> you're probably gonna be fine. You, you can tailor, that's the beautiful thing about this routine is you can tailor it to fit your style. So the big uh, events of the coin disappearing and appearing, those, uh, the, the gaffs are gonna do all the work for you. So let's say you upgrade to the $125. So if you upgrade to the $125, 
you will get a large coin. So you could do a finale where the coin that they've been looking at the entire time becomes a large coin, right? You'll get the glasses, the cups. The cups aren't gimmicked in any way. You'll get a straw, and then you'll get the retaining for that as well. So for just $25 more, you'll get the extra bonus of being able to lift the cup off their hands and have the coin appear underneath. Now, you might be the kind of person that says, I'm not gonna walk around with a cup and a straw and a, and a full drink. Like, that's just not me. I understand, but if you do corporate walk around, that's the perfect kind of thing for you to walk around with, you know? And then from there, you just put the, your drink off to the side. You don't even have to ever drink it the whole night. You just carry that prop around. It looks normal for you to be walking around. And you can say, oh, you wanna see some magic? Here, hold my drink, right? Hold my drink. And as they're holding it, you start your effect. I mean, what a great opener. What a great opener. And it's a, it's a crusher. It's a crush. I mean, if, the, if you, you know you gotta do that one trick first, right? to see if they're gonna keep watching. Because maybe they're like, oh, that was great, thanks, and they walk off. So this is the one trick you wanna leave them with, right? I was, holding their, I was holding his drink, and the coin appeared underneath the drink on my hand, right? I watched him make the coin go up through the table. Insane. So, once again, 100 bucks gets you the tin, gets you the basic uh, elements, the lighter and the coin. Phase two, the upgrade, the $125, gives you the glass, the straw, and the extra gimmicks you need for that. On top of that, uh, you're going to get 12 files, 12 video files. There are several live performances. There's going to be an intro and crediting James Keatling and Craig Petty sit down in what looks like uh, a wedding venue <laughs> and they go through the entire trick. Uh, they're going to talk about what's in the box, how both the gimmicks work, and then he's going to teach the effect in three stages. Like I said, there's three phases. So phase one is the coin appears from out of nowhere, right? Phase two, the coin will vanish and appear in a box. So if you don't get the upgrade, they'll teach you how to make the coin appear like in tuck box or a cigarette box. The bonus one is the coin under glass. Craig will give you a tutorial on how to vanish a coin. So again, if your skill level you don't think is right there, uh, Craig will give you some uh, tips on vanishing and appearing a coin. Phase three is the coin jumps up through the table and appears under the lighter with absolutely no cover. You'll then get a full studio performance and then they're gonna walk through the entire routine at speed. And this is about 10 minutes long. But you know, really by then, you know how it works. This is just them taking the three uh, uh, teachings and putting them all together. Then there's a 19 minute additional file where they talk about ideas. They have a special uh, file to address what would happen if your gimmick breaks. And then there's some final thoughts. And of course, like I said, I had the special coin under glass demo version. So that came with a 12 minute file on how to do that aspect. Plus, get this, since I've had it, uh, James Keatling has uploaded two additional files. So they've added a Henry Harrius tutorial and a Doug Kahn tutorial as well. Pocket space. All right, so like I said, to the spectator, it seems like a very small trick. Lighter coin, right? And for phase two, obviously you need something else. So you're either gonna have the coin appear under the glass, or it's gonna appear in a tuck case, or it's gonna appear in a cigarette box. If you have the cigarette box and the lighter, they kinda go, you know, they kinda go together. That would make sense. But that's gonna be up to you how, how you figure it out. I suppose if you wanted to pack really light, the coin could appear in your pocket, right? Or if you're really good at, you know, planting, the coin could appear in their pocket. <laughs> but um, you're carrying the lighter, and there's only one. You only have to have one lighter, there's no switch out but you are carrying a few coins, okay? And then whatever you're using for phase two. So there's, there's that prop as well. So like I said, it feels small to the spectator. In their minds, it feels like a small trick using normal everyday objects, but for you, there's a little bit more involved, okay? There's a little bit more pocket going on. And like I said, I think this is a great walk around trick, it might even be a great restaurant trick because of the aspect of not only having the drink, because that's perfect, but also needing the table. Uh, but Craig Petty shows you a version where he makes the coin go up through their hand. So he uses their hand as the table. They see the coin go under their hand, okay? And it shoots up through their hand and appears under the lighter on their hand. So you could do it, yes, without a table, but I think it's fun uh, with the table. Angles wise, um, 
there's really no bad angles. I mean, all you're really doing is doing sleight of hand vanishes. So you should know what those kind of angles are, right? And as spectability goes, every time you have the spectator holding the coin, they're holding a real coin. So there's at least two moments in the routine where the coin's in their hand or where they get to touch it. So that, that will be totally inspectable. How hard is this? Slice and difficulty level. Like I said earlier, the gas are gonna do all the heavy lifting for you. But the routine is organic enough that you can insert all your little own routining. So if you watch the first Craig Petty video that he does with two uh, lady spectators, he does a lot of little vanishes and appearances at the very beginning. He, he you know, adds a lot of his own uh, coin work skill. And this is, that's the beautiful thing about this is because there's these components where the coin appears, the coin goes into a box or under a glass, and the coin reappears under the lighter, because you have those nice easy access doors to go in and out of the routine, that allows you to be as organic as you want with your routining. You could probably easily insert these Bitcoin gimmicks into a coin routine that you already do with one coin, right? Provided you use a similar sized coin, right? As far as setup and reset goes, um, yeah, you need to kind of load. There's a load at the very beginning and you're gonna, and you're gonna reset it, reload it in the performance. Phase two is important. You want them to be looking at the coin that's in their hand or the coin that's in their box so that they're not looking at you because you're resetting yourself for the finale. Um, positives, what a cool trick, right? What a cool trick. And if you're fortunate enough to find some of the um, performances that are on YouTube for Blackpool, you will see not paid spectator reaction, right? You're gonna see magician reaction. I mean, when Craig Petty sees it for the first time, I mean, he's he's not fooling. He, he I've never seen him make some of those expressions. He's really genuinely impressed. Like, it's so hard to fool magicians now. You know, we are so jaded because not only can we just go, oh, you know, it's just a lot of hand, but now we also know that there is technology, right? So we have this vast wealth of how tricks are done. And when James makes that coin appear under the lighter for the first time for Craig, I mean, he's just, he's blown away. And you can genuinely see it on his face. So I think the proof is in the pudding, really. I mean, if, especially if you go watch some of those Blackpool performances with real magicians. A lot of top name magicians watch this effect. So uh, I think that's a, that's a real winner. Negatives. I could really only see one. Well, there's two negatives with this, really. Um, there's a familiar uh, coin prop in this. And if you've used that coin prop before, you know that... Um, the technology that allows it to work can break. Yes? Sometimes it breaks during performance, <laughs> right? I don't know if you've ever had it happen. It's, it's kind of embarrassing. So, um, yeah, it, it could break during performance. That is always a possibility. And, and I mean, it's, it, it's the nature of the beast. The other negative was that um, when the coin appears for the first time, well, the first time and the last time, depending on the ambient noise that are in, that's in the room, it's possible that they could hear, hear the magic happening. It talks. The coin, it has kind of like, I don't know the right way to say this. It has an activating kind of sound, okay? There's kind of like a appearance sound. And you can even hear it in the performance that's on the, on the training video. So you can hear it there and they do address it a little bit and they talk about just saying, Hey, you know, just make sure there's a little bit of ambient noise around. Uh, so again, that's another reason why I would say it'd be great for restaurant, great for corporate walk around because of the fact that you just have that full, loud, boisterous room, right? So that's what you want. So, uh, is it worth your money? It's a hundred bucks, right? It is a hundred bucks. But like I said, uh, you're getting a lot for your money. These are also completely handmade. Everything is handmade. Uh, James Keatling makes all these by hand. So that's another reason why. You know, it's, it's him in his living room making these for you uh, as, as they get ordered. So that's also something to consider. But don't take my word for it. Don't take my word for it. I'm going to tell you everybody else that you can go watch. Wizard, Pro Wizard Product Review did a review for this. Okay. So if you like those guys, go check them out. Craig Petty, obviously, 
<laughs> Craig Petty's going to have a review. Go check that out as well. Tyler Lunsford, right? Tyler Lunsford, he's going to review this as well. Uh, Ruse Reviews pick this up. So even if he doesn't do a re full review on his channel, you know you can always go check out his Instagram. He does performances, so you can go check out Rue. And then uh, Fiddlin' Johnny is going to have this. So I think between all of us, you should get a pretty well-rounded opinion before you drop 100 bucks, right? So make sure you go watch all those other reviews or at least two or three others uh, to get a good, well-rounded opinion. But Jack Magic, that's where you want to go. I want to thank James Keatling for allowing me to have this so I could do the review for you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.